And the first pitch is in there called strike one Steve Mattingly gets the home plate umpire assignment tonight our batting order some familiar names at the top there Rowdy Jordan Tanner Allen bat 392 this year Madden hasn't been as sharp recently but he's off to a good start here with an easy rollover to first and Rowdy Jordan is retired in a way and this one's a second easy play for Mitchell Daly. And just like that, two quick outs for 20 to 4 then. That's a good start. How about a time, Madden? Couple of ground outs and a punch out. Way to go, Dad. You played a big role. I'll right, take a look at our batting order. The Texas Longhorns. I've heard Mike Antico be mentioned. The center fielder, Mitch Daly, will bat second on the 1 2. And this is up the middle, and it stays up long enough for Cameron James, the third baseman. On a 3-2, got him. 94, and he strikes him out. So that's the one. That's the one to where Bednar goes on a run. He gets he gets swings and misses on this one right here. It's fastball, not absolutely at the top of the zone, but not too far. But that four-seamer that he grabs has good carry when it goes all the way in. Yep. Got him. Boy, saw the heater, saw the slider. And the Diamond Dogs going to be happy. They each seem to have them both going so far. There's Woo! another slider. Second strike out of the game so far for Madden. I mean, let's face it, guys. If you love to see good quality pitching, these two guys will do it for you. I love my offense, but I also love a pitching show. And behind one and two, and that one. Slow roller. It's the shortstop who's going to try, and Faltini's throw is high safe. Zubia had to come off the bag. A little confusion. Third and Trey Faltini at short. The throw beat him, but it was just too high, and Zubia had to get off that bag to get it. Yeah, we saw some miscommunication. Original with five hits and 12 at bats. Golfs this one sky high, right fielder Eric Kennedy. Watch now going back, the wind took it. Strikeout three in a row. He's got them both going tonight. That was the fastball that we talked about earlier. So slide early in this game, and you can really see him get through that four-seamer. That's a great shot of that. Oh, man. Four in a row for Bednar. Hitters caught off guard. Again, both pitches working for him. Wants to locate well the fastball up. Nasty. Oh, he got it. Five. Strikeouts in a row for Will Bednar. Get this thing going for the Diamond Dogs. Chases one in the dirt, and Ardwan's going to have to throw down to first, which he does. That throw it again. Right Pick up another strikeout. Third on a 3 2. That's hit hard up the middle. Rowdy Jordan. Watch him hit first, and he will put the brakes on there as. Poto came in quickly to field it and send it back into the infield. But a man aboard, first hit of the game. 1-1. One one. Jordan is going, and he lifts this one to left. Watch the wind blow it back into fair territory. It is caught. Stop. Who's going to be a major leaguer, and he chases one up. Ardwan. Got him. Seven strikeouts in a row for Will Bednar. These guys ace tough today, fellas. I think it should probably qualify if you dirty work up in the zone. Oh, Ooh, out. that one hit him. And this is guy. exactly what Rocker did last night. When Rocker settled in, he retired to 13 in a row, and then he hit a batter. And that subsequently led to a two-run home run. Going. Swing and a miss. The throw down. Not in time, but that is strike three anyway. So he's out. Run and B, he can make us better. And clearly, he has made them better. Cameron James. 24 hour rule. That one into right field. Uh, hesitation from James, but he stepped on second and found another gear, and he's standing it. Chases a slider, and that's out number one here in the fourth. That's his money right there, the slider. And this one is lifted to center field. Antico coming home with it, and it's 1-0. Hancock stays at first base, and here's Brad Cumbus, the left fielder. Right field into the corner. Hodo going over there, and that ball is fair. That's going to bring in Hancock. 
walk all the way from first, heading to third is Cumbest, and he's in there with a triple. Brad Cumbest on third, 2 0 Mississippi State. And a nearly impossible ball for Douglas Hodo to make a play on. Slider yes. in the dirt, right here. There it was, hey. a slider in the dirt. It's like you played this game one time. Yeah, once in a while. Nailed it. 3 2 on the way to Mitchell Daly. Right back up the middle. That's as hard a hit ball as Texas has had all night. And the Longhorns get their first hit. Themes. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. And that's strikeout number nine for Will Bednar as Zubia is retired. It's a similar theme because when he is trying to finish it with his fastball, this is exactly where he's thrown it. On the corner, he gets the kike out call. That's number 10 for Will Bednar. Okay. Got him. He came back from 3 0 and punched out Lane Forsyth. Strikeout number seven for Ty Madden. He two chops at this one. Williams, my play easy after he started out 3 0. Got a strikeout. That's a record for Mississippi State. His 11th of the night, and Will Bednar is in the Mississippi State record books. 11 strikeouts in a College World Series game. Early in the game, we've seen the fastball established to go get strike three. Got him. That's strikeout number 12. Bednar, a dozen on the night. This is an incredible performance from Will Bednar. Okay, so, I mean, we, we talked about this with Kamar Rocker a little bit yesterday, is is you, you have a certain approach. Oh, boy. Something special tonight here in Omaha. Will Bednar strikes out the side. Right back up the middle and through the legs of the pitcher, Madden. That's a single. Cameron James on base for the second time tonight. Second time he's been on as a leadoff guy in an inning. He's going first pitch. Throw down. Safe. Head for a slide. Looked like that left hand got in there. And that's steal number 19 for James. May not be quite this simple, but the difference between a fastball and a changeup could have been the difference between being safe or being out right here. First pitch changeup, and they just. 2-0, and this is playable on the infield, and a good job by Faltini to call off a runner goes, throw to third, and he's out. Aggressive effort from Cameron James, Chris Lamonis. Good job by Saros Ardwan. Not an easy ball to catch and throw. Three and two. That ball gets away from Arjuan. It's a long throw he makes to first in time. That's a heck of a play. Third time. Mm. I'm sitting here. Look. As easy as it is to save from here, and we're seeing that these swings just are not good. It's like they're not seeing it well. They're late on it. They're missing under every one of those heaters. He struck out number 15, and Bednar back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the sixth. Now we're talking about control right here. This man. This one is going to be playable. The right fielder, it's Tanner Allen. He says yes. <laughs> He's off. <laughs> That's a walk from Madden to start things off here in the seventh. Part of that three team deal. They brought Bednar's older brother back to Pittsburgh. So the family was going bananas when they found out that he was coming home to pitch. There it is. Throw down to second, and he's out. A strike him out, throw him out, double play. You can put Madden on a list with Clemens and Giraldi and all the other great pitchers in Texas World Series history. 3-2, he didn't offer a close pitch, and that is the first walk of the night for Bednar. And we'll keep an eye on the Mississippi State bench. That was real close. You bring Melendez up, and hold on a second. First pitch swings, and it's fouled off. Looks that like was close, my friends. Oh, hold on, did you see that? This time he will get him, and let's listen to the crowd here. And the team come off the bench.
15 strikeouts for Bednar. That does end a strikeout. 88. He is out. And Sims picks up where Bednar left off. That's not fair. Can't read lips. You own that. Fastball up again at the letters. That's strike three. That is the 17th strikeout of a Longhorn hitter tonight. And Sims two for two. And Sims doing more what Bednar was doing. And that's take that four seam fastball and just throw the daylights out of it up. Three and two. That's strike three. That's three this inning. And that's 18 in the game. Jam shot. Hanson's going to try it himself. That's a great play. Just getting a little sneak peek at some of the stuff. This is trouble if it's fair and it drops. Nobody was going to get there. Girls. Mom did it. Oh, good play at first base. Throw down and not in time, but Zach Zubia needed all of his. Oh. Strike zone extended a little bit there. Down. For three, three punch outs. He joins Williams and Hodo as 0 for three, three strikeout guys. I think he's going to elevate a fastball when he gets to two strikes. Make it 20. Bednar and Sims have been. We're going to bunt it right to the third baseman, James, and that's quick. And the eighth is over. Swing and a miss. A strike out there. He's gone. We now have set a record in a World Series game. There you go. Let's see it. Yep. Faltini can play. That ball is belted to right field. Allen going back, looking up, and it's gone. It's a one run game. Mike Antico. It's his 10th, and just like that, the Longhorns have life. Look, we said it before the game started. Mike Antico is and has been their catalyst all season long. The average might not show it, but the on-base percentage pitch here in the ninth gets the call. Strike three and strikeout number 21 for state pitchers tonight. Hit hard on the ground to short, staying down on it's Forsyth, and they are one out away. Play all night for them. Strike one. Strike two. Whew. Two and two. Oh my <laughs> goodness, where was that? Two. One is in to left field. Melendez trying to dig for two. He'll put the brakes on. And a smart move, but now the Longhorns got a chance to bring the winning run to the plate. What a battle for Melendez. What a great at bat. One way or another, you can say he missed a couple pitches here and there. The winning run. Mm. That one is to center field. Jordan's not going to get it. Campbell hits second. He goes to third. And back-to-back -back hits have the Longhorns in business. What a job by Williams and Melendez Hodo. On the ground a second. It's playable. And that'll do it. Mississippi State hangs on. They strike out 21 Longhorns and set a record. And the combination of Bednar and Sims just enough. They win it 2-1. to one.